This is a very exciting time for the gardeners and for people that have got allotments because it's showtime. This is when people have been working all season to get their stuff to bring to their local show. These are great places to exhibit, to learn from other people. Many of the areas have got horticultural societies. I can't recommend them strongly enough. Joining your local horticultural society not only gives you the chance to exhibit, but they'll have annual meetings on which they'll have guest speakers, they will have outings, they will do a newsletter and that will tell you all the things to look out for and what's on at the moment. So you find where they are and you join and then they'll tell you about their show coming up. It could be the spring show, it could be the summer show or the great autumn show. Whichever one it is, it's really worth having a go. It's a bit of fun and who knows, you could win a prize. Obviously you need a show schedule. Now these will be printed and given out by the societies. And this is the first essential thing you have to do. Acquire the schedule, look at it and see what you think you can enter and then study it. Because as we go round, it's so many peas, so many carrots, so many stems. And I'll give you an example today as we go round a local show where they haven't read it correctly. Then you will decide what you're going to enter and then you'll submit your form back. Then we come to show day. Some people are very clever and cut the night before just in case it's pouring with rain on the Saturday when the show's on and the rain has affected all their cut flowers. Always cut a few more than you need because you never know what's going to happen. There could be a disaster when you get to the show. Also, be very thorough about how many they require in each class. And there's tips and ways in which you can show, and I'll show you that later on as we go on. The other thing which is very handy to have is the RHS Show Guide Handbook. This will give you tips and ideas of how to present, how many you need to do. It's an essential piece of equipment. So having got the preliminaries out of the way, let's go and look at some exhibits. So when you get the show schedule, you look down there and all the exhibits are divided up into classes. This happens to be class 48 and it's to show a hanging basket. And the important thing to remember is it has a maximum of a 24 inch circumference. And what's more, the judges will bring a ruler. And if it's less or more, then you could have that dreaded NAS, not as scheduled. So, here's a classic example of two absolutely brilliant hanging baskets. Um, I suspect, though the judge never knows, they're probably the same person. There's too much a familiarity about both of them that it couldn't be one, two different people. We don't know that, we shouldn't know that, but any rate, the first thing you do is to look at the overall appearance. Well, I mean, they're absolutely identical and you're really thinking, which is the best one? One of the, the keys to a very successful hanging basket is to have a good high top and then just let drag the run down and fill up all the base. The last thing you want to see when you're looking at a hanging basket is a bare bottom. You want the whole thing covered. So, the judge now is beginning to think, which one am I going to pick of these two? Well, if we move around the other side in a second, you will see, see which one I chose. Having come round the other side, I will give it the same examination as I did at the front. And looking here, I'm equally impressed. However, when I come to this one, look at the great gaping hole in the middle. And that's the point of it. You look all the way round. It's not just visual through from the front. So therefore, first, second. The Village Hall, where an awful lot of these exhibitions take place, or should I say, the, uh, the competitions. And this is the sort of thing you'd see at this time of year. It's a summer collection of different vegetables divided up into their classes. And so as a judge, you look at them first of all, and it applies to most of them. Uniformity, they look fresh. Particularly when you look at the peas, there's a little snag at the end of it, it means they haven't bought them in a local supermarket. And all these things you look at first. Then you will actually take one of the peas out and you will open it to see how many peas in there. Are they looking a bit old? Are they too immature? Or are they just right? Having done all of this, 
Then you come down to the all important bit, which is first, which is second, which is third. And obviously, in the case of these P's, the first hit all the right buttons, and then the second and the third. Now you do get sometimes where there's a very close third and maybe second. So you don't want to give two prizes out for third or second place. But what you can do is give highly commended, commended. The one thing we're trying to do at these shows is encourage people. Some people, it could be their first show. And if they get a commended, they think, I'm coming back next year to get the first, second or third. But that gives you an idea. If we now start to look at some of the potatoes, obviously, is the time of year when all the earlies are coming to fruition. And again, check the number that you should enter. The other thing that's very important is how you arrange them. With no disrespect, there's four here just lying on top of the table. These four here are all arranged. Right. They're saying, come on, Mr. Judge, this is the one you're going to give the first prize to. The uniformity, free of blemish. How uh, much does it stick to the variety it should be? Once again, first, second and third. So that gives you an idea of vegetables, all very much similar, uh, same treatment. Now we'll move on to some of the flower classes, which has a slightly different approach to it. So we're now looking at a selection of flowers. And again, the class will say, in this particular case, one vase of perennials. But what it very importantly says is the amount of stems you could put into the vase. And here, unfortunately, is a, cla a class that hasn't met what it should be. It's six. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, all judges hate doing it. NAS, not a schedule. However, still a great range of perennials and then vases of mixed roses. And so we go on, sweet peas. All of it, at this time of the year, is absolutely buzzing in the garden. I think the one thing that exhibitors hate doing is cutting them because they want to see them in the garden. But at the same time, if they pick up a certificate that has that magic first prize, it's all worth it. This, of course, is really all the hard work done. I've done the easy bit. I've just awarded first, second and third. But the show secretary now is putting it all down to record it. You've got to record everything. You've then got probably a cut that will be at the end of the season for the most points gained at the spring, the summer, and the autumn show. All of that has to be sorted out. But the real nitty gritty is the prize money. And I tell you, mega, mega amounts. Two pound 50, one pound 20. It's not the money, it's the fact that you've got something to take away. And then all this lovely array of cups, all donated or given by people over the years, and each one of these will be awarded, maybe today, some of them will be left until the end of the season, because in certain classes, the best of the roses, the best of the potatoes, and then there's a cup to go with it. And then as we start moving along, we're looking at where the society, hopefully, are gonna make their money. These societies are run by volunteers, people that give up all their time, but they've gotta find the money to keep going. And I'll give you the three examples that most people come along for. We'll ride right through the main gate shortly. And in the old days, they used to charge an entrance fee. Well, it was never much, but it was more fiddly to work out. And so they, they very few shows charge. But where they do make the money, first of all, where have they positioned the raffle table? Right next door to the entrance. And some lovely prizes to win, all probably related to gardening. The next thing that people love to do is to take a plant home with them. So these will be given by other members, um, various plants there, for you to buy. But probably the most important place this afternoon is between that hatch at the end there, where you get your teas and your buns and your cakes. That's what it's all about. So if you've never done it, start thinking about it. Enter your local society and have some fun. <laughs> Scott Chairs.
And I've heard you come and see after that. Cheers.